Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another video. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about the some of the animated wallpapers I'm using on my personal website slash personal OS kind of thing. Uh, and I've also added a few other features today that we can talk about that are kind of connected to animated wallpapers as well. So let's just jump right in. Uh, so yeah, if we check it out here, this is my website. Kind of looks a bit like an OS. That's, that's what I was going for. And if you right click on the desktop here, you can see there's a little wallpaper section. Uh, so as far as the animated ones right now, I have these th these three, and then I have an additional cool one that I want to show as well. Uh, not that these aren't cool. So the one that's happening right now is called Waves from Vanta. There's also another one here I've, I've added called Hexelis that uh, is from another person that makes a pretty cool one. This one has all sorts of little neural neural network type patterns. Uh, another one here. This is another one that I added today, uh, recently that I wanted to talk about called Coastal Landscape. I thought this one was kind of cool. Looks a little chuggy on the while the stream is going, but it actually looks pretty good just looking at it straight. I think it's like 60 FPS, and I think I'm probably recording at 30 FPS. So looking at my stream, I'm not sure how smooth it looks for everybody, but I thought this was a, a cool one. And this is actually something I found on a website called Shader Toy. You can see here, this is a, some kind of like code for, for running it. And I was able to take the uh, embedded one here. There's the share one where you can get an embedded iframe version. And I kind of looked through this and picked apart the JavaScript to understand it and turn it into a wallpaper. And I've also moved it into an off-screen canvas. So if you look here in the, where is it here? Yeah, in the threads. Let me just move the dev tools to the bottom so it's a little easier to see. You can see here in the threads here, we've got the wallpaper running on a, a separate thread actually. So that uh, if, if let's say something was to freeze the main thread, the wallpaper would actually keep going, which is kind of neat, wouldn't freeze. Um, and then, yeah, the final one, so this APOD one is not animated, but this is the astronomy photo of the day. So this happens to be today's astronomy photo, it looks like. This is coming right from NASA. And if we go back to Vanta Waves here, the, another cool little feature I wanted to show that I've added recently is I added playlist support. And I found this uh, streaming service here, Soma FM, Soma.FM, or sorry, SomaFM.com in this case, at least. And they had some of these ones that are basically like I remember streams back in the day when I used to use them on Winamp. Uh, with shoutcast servers and I found here at, at, this is I found this first and I wanted to do these I saw this like Winamp mp3 and I see if you download this let's say we pick the 128 stream you get an m3u file so if we go to my OS now and we drag in the m3u file you can actually double click an m3u file and it'll play on my version of Winamp and load the playlist and these are actually loaded streams that are playing uh, on through Soma FM and then you can change the Winamp skin to be like WebAmp. That used to be my favorite one. Uh, and then the next cool thing that I wanted to show that I've added is I added what uh, the equivalent of what used to be called Milk Drop with Winamp. Now that I'm using WebAmp, it's called Butter Churn. But if you open it up here, you can see that this is the the classic uh, Butter Churn that we all know and love, or w Milk Drop. Sorry, you can see here it's from a, a group here, Butter Churn Visualizer, and they've essentially taken all the Milk Drop presets and everything from back in the day and They've converted it, uh, I think, mostly via WebAssembly, in fact, to work in the browser. And, and another cool feature, the grand finale here as far as the animated wallpapers, you can right-click here and go to desktop mode. And then like that, now it'll become my wallpaper. So every 20 seconds, this changes to another one of the Milk Drop presets. And you could just play your streaming music on my website. Uh, you got your music visualizations in the background. You open up one of my blog posts on, on happiness that I wrote. Uh, nine years ago and you can just read that you know and just kind of get all trans transfixed with the wallpaper i guess if that's something you wanted to do so i thought that was another cool one worth showing and you can see it's connected to the audio uh, i mean i don't have the audio uh playing through the stream right now for this video but it is connected to it so it's uh, there's some connection between what's happening and, and the music going on let's say i pause it here you see the visualization pauses and if i were to just turn off milk drop here it goes back to my animated wallpaper so we could go back to that coastal landscape one and we could just continue to play our stream with that. Or if we want to go back to Milk Drop, we could bring that back and then we got our visualization again. So yeah, I thought that was kind of cool and I just figured I'd show some possible uh, options people could use on their own websites if they wanted to go to all the trouble to have done all the things I required to, to get it going. And yeah, if you wanted to check out all those things, uh, I have my, my codes open source for my website, Daedal OS. Uh, and if you like this video, please throw me a like. Uh, if you want to subscribe to me, uh, it would be quite motivating. And then you can keep track of what videos I'm throwing out there. So please feel free to do that as well. And yeah, I just wanted to keep it a short video and show you those little things. So thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.